Hello again, everybody, and you're going to realize that this is on the wrong day for random vlogging. This isn't random vlogging. I'm not going to do the whole... I'm not going to make a little uh, uh, thumbnail for it or anything like that. This is me talking about something that um, I think needs to be said. Um, mostly because I've, I've seen this happen a lot. Um, and to be perfectly honest, I've only seen this happen in the geek community. So... I would love to see that this is just a problem with humans in general and not a problem with geeks um, or people claiming to be geeks but actually aren't. I'm, I'm actually not sure who it is that's perpetuating this. I just, I see this a lot. Um, and this all stems from something that Curie made a vlog about. Um, if you guys have not checked out Curie Callaghan's uh, vlogs and everything like that, check out her personal channel. It's amazing stuff. She is an unbelievably talented um, a creator, and I, I did a Friday feature focus on her, um, and she just keeps getting more awesome every day. So take that as it is. Uh, today, she posted a vlog about uh, this company called, I believe it's called Black Milk, uh, which makes uh, geeky themed tights and apparently is staffed primarily by women, uh, which is very, very cool. Women owned businesses, good, good, good. Um, and uh, I'm not really into tights that much because. I, you never want to see this in tights. It's just a bad idea. Um, but the thing that she talked about was uh, there was a uh, picture that they posted that got them a lot of flack um, and a lot of bad press. And uh, if I want to be 100% truthful about it, they I, this isn't even you know 100% truthful. It's obvious. They reacted very poorly to... Uh, some people taking offense at it. Um, and that isn't technically what I want to talk about. They screwed up by reacting poorly, and uh, anyone that, that understands uh, uh, PR and stuff like that knows that even if... Uh, and, I'm, and I'm not saying that they are in the right in this specific instance. That is not what I am saying before people start ripping me apart for that. Um, but even if they were in the right, if people have a reaction like they did, uh, the smart thing to do uh, is to be very, very careful about how you handle it. Be very, very kind and uh, uh, a lot of times apology, uh, apologizing for something that, that technically isn't uh, uh, your fault or something that you did wrong generally uh, an accepted uh, way to deal with this because it, it, it generates good PR. Um, and from a business perspective, good PR is more important than truth. It, it really is. However, the thing that I want to talk about is why it's happening. This is the second time I've seen something like this happen that I can think of right now where the joke that was intended was misconstrued as something else and because it was misconstrued by other people, the company itself, or the person that made the joke, is now being regarded as intentionally saying what it was that someone misconstrued it as. That sounds really, really complicated. I'm going to explain it a little bit better. Um, I'm going to bring up a topic that's going to piss a lot of people off. There's a lot of really, really bad feelings about this topic. There's a lot of really, really bad memories about this topic. Um, it's still something that if you bring it up in the wrong circles, can lose you friends, can get you hurt. Um, and that is the Dick Wolves incident. If you guys don't know what that is, uh, Penny Arcade, uh, they make a webcomic, and in one of their comics, they were making a joke about... Hmm, apparently someone's tweeting me. Um, they're making a joke about how in MMORPGs, some of the quests seem kind of bad. You know, you'll have quests that's like, well, go in and, and rescue five slaves, because in a video game world... You don't want to rescue every single slave because as they keep respawning so that more people can do it, uh, it just it would become a nightmare, long quest that no one would ever want to do. But when you really think about it, going in and only saving five people is a dick move. It really is. And so in the comic, 
they're having a conversation between a character in the game and one of the people that they're saving, and they bring up the idea that, oh, well, I'm all done. I don't have to do this. And one of the other prisoners that didn't get rescued mentions, oh, please save us. Every night we get raped. Uh, we get raped by the dick wolves. What eventually happened was rape. I, I, it's not rape advocacy. Wait, awareness, anti-rape groups, I guess which doesn't make a whole lot of sense because I think everybody except rapists should be anti-rape because it's a horrible, disgusting, awful thing. Uh, but whatever. Some anti-rape activists, is what we're going to call them right now, made a huge deal about, hey, rape isn't funny, okay? And that joke, you are... And it turned into this huge thing where apparently... Uh, there were there were points where they were claiming that Mike Rahulik and, and Jerry Holkins and Penny Arcade in general were glorifying rape and and all these 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 things that were simply not true. They made a joke about MMORPGs that had nothing to do with rape. It was mentioned specifically to give weight to the idea by taking uh, the literary turn is hyperbole, taking something to an extreme. Um, in order to, uh, and I, uh, my ability to define words right now is just completely gone, but that was the basic idea. And these people took it to such a length that they started accusing Penny Arcade and Mike Krahulik, uh, of being these absolutely horrible people that advocate rape and, and all these, these horrible, and they didn't, they made a joke that was completely unrelated to the topic of rape, but somebody heard the word rape and then fixated on it and then turned it into something horrible. Now, what happened afterwards was stupid, um, primarily on Penny Arcade's part. Um, I love Penny Arcade. I think Mike and Jared are two of the coolest guys in the world. One day I hope to meet them. Uh, but they reacted poorly. They made Team Dick Wolf shirts, and I mean, it turned bad. Like, super, super bad. And um, to this day, if they bring up the incident like they did at PAX Australia, they brought it up and it was huge. It made headlines in Geek News and everything like that. And, and again, everyone started attacking uh, Mike because all these things that don't matter. And I think the reason I bring this up, I think the same thing is happening here. Um, the objectification of women and, uh, you know, the idea that they really don't have any value if uh, they aren't uh, what the Western world would consider attractive is horrible and shouldn't be done. That was not what they were talking about. If you actually look at the post, the thing that they were actually trying to satirize and, and, and just trying to, to make a joke about um, is they mentioned something to the effect, and I don't remember specifically, and I don't have it up in front of me, but something to the effect of this happens to us all the time or something like that. They were much more succinct in it. And it just showed a model that was obviously made up in, in revealing tight clothing um, where it said expectation and then line and then another picture that said reality. And it showed a picture of uh, Amy Farrah Fowler from The Big Bang Theory dressed up in uh, a Star Trek nurse's uniform on the set of the Big Bang Theory. It's actually from the Launch Acceleration episode. Uh, so this is actually an episode that aired on television of Amy, Amy Farrah Fowler. And it turned huge because all these people started yelling at them for objectifying women and um, uh, that, that this was completely unacceptable and it was offensive and things like that. The joke that they were making if I understand it correctly, I could be wrong on this. It, it could be that they were objectifying women and they're horrible people. I sincerely doubt that. Um, the joke that they were making is that their expectation of dressing up nerd-like is to look like the, th the picture on the left. That is their intention. What they turn out looking like is the picture on the right which is a fictional character that is a hyperbole of geek stereotypes. It's not a real person. Had they had a picture of um, Mian Bialik, uh, who is the, the person, uh, the actress that uh, actually plays um, Amy Farrah Fowler, uh, first of all, the joke wouldn't work because uh, in addition to uh, Mian Bialik being an incredibly smart woman uh, and having a PhD in, I think, neuroscience, 
Um, she uh, is, is a very attractive woman uh, as well. Uh, and from my very, very, very basic understanding of what fashion is, she happens to have a fairly decent fashion sense as well. If you look at pictures of her, even when she's not made up, uh, when she's not in her Amy costume, uh, she's a very attractive woman. Um, so that wouldn't have worked, but they, they picked that picture specifically because the Amy Farrah Fowler character is not designed to be attractive by Western standards. She's designed to be kind of dorky and, and geeky and, and clumsy and, and not really all that great at uh, interaction. And uh, if you look at some of the early episodes, she was uh, un she she was borderline offensive when she was introduced because of how much of a hyperbole of geek stereotypes that she was. And um, yeah, uh, she's changed a lot. I think she's a great character. I think she's a great foil for um, Jim Parsons' character, Sheldon. Uh, so anyway, so yeah, that's that's what happened. Now, their reaction to it was horrible. Not quite to the extent of the Dick Wolves incident, but still, they did very, very poorly. And then, um, and I can't verify any of this because all of it has disappeared, um, but uh, according to Kiri, whom I trust, uh, they started banning people just for voicing differences of opinion. I have, I have no problem with deleting comments that are hurtful and hateful and things like that. In fact, if anyone comments on this video uh, in a hurtful or hateful way, or they, they try to bash me, or they try to bash, uh, especially if they try to bash women or anything like that, <laughs> the comment will never see the light of day again. Um, but they started just banning and deleting any comment that differed with their um, specific opinion. And that, first of all, it's a dumb idea. It's horrible PR, and it just shows that you don't have the conviction to stand by what you did. Um, I've done a little bit of stand-up comedy. I'm not particularly good at it. But any stand-up comic knows probably half the material they write, probably even more so, isn't funny. It, it just isn't. And it takes a lot of work and refinement to get it to a point where it is funny. And it takes a lot of time to step it up to a microphone and having people treat you horribly. Um, and uh, you'll get boots, you'll get hisses and stuff like that because you're telling jokes that aren't funny. Um, and so this was a joke that wasn't funny, obviously. Um, and there's a lot of better ways to, you know, maybe if they'd phrased it differently, maybe if they'd use a different meme or something like that, there are ways to make that joke funny. Um, they didn't do it correctly. But now they're getting labeled as using uh, misogynist ideas and things like that, which isn't true. They made a mistake, not in... in posting the picture, in my personal opinion, they, they didn't make a mistake in, in posting the picture. They made a mistake in how they reacted to criticism of it. And anyone that's done any work in comedy ever knows if you wrote the funniest joke in the world, it is literally the most perfect funny joke in the world that nobody laughs at, it doesn't matter. Comedy isn't controlled by you, it's controlled by your audience. And if your audience doesn't like the joke, then you need to rewrite the joke. You need to get rid of the joke. Um, and being able to admit, you know what? It wasn't funny. This, this is my intention. Maybe I need to phrase it differently. A lot of comics do that. A lot of comedy writers do that as well, was they will write a phrase, they'll pitch it to someone, and it will fall flat. But when they rewrite it and rework it, eventually the joke turns into something good. And sometimes uh, it, it just it dies off because they can't make it funny because it's either... Um, insulting or a million other things. It's just not funny. So that's something that really, really annoys me is people fixating on something that, that's not the point and then turning it into a big deal when it, when it really isn't. You know, did they make a bad joke? Yes. Are they misogynist, horrible people? No. And is making a bad joke a mistake? From my own experiences, technically, no. Making a bad joke is normal, especially if you haven't been doing comedy for a very long time. Uh, it's required. You have to make a lot of bad jokes before you start to understand you get an ear for what's funny and what's not. Um, so I personally don't think they screwed up by posting the picture. I don't think that the picture was misogynist. I think the picture did exactly what it was intending to do. Um, it showed two different things. It showed a completely unrealistic 
possibility uh, because that the picture on the left doesn't exist in nature. It's it's heavily photoshopped. It's it's heavily edited and things like that to to make it look like what we think we find attractive and what we've been programmed to find attractive. The photo on the right does the exact opposite thing. It's not real. It's not a real person. That's not me and Bialik. That is Amy Farrah Fowler. Amy Farrah Fowler who is a character on a comedic television series that is written and designed to be funny. And that's what the joke was designed to do, is like it's actually easier for us to obtain, to actually achieve the joke than it is to achieve the, uh, I don't want to call it perfection because it really isn't. It's just uh, the... Uh, uh, the uh, photoshopped up super high quality, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that is funny. It's funny that in real life it's more possible to achieve something that we laugh at than it is for us to achieve something that we find attractive because that's what we've been, it's, it's impossible for us to achieve that. Uh, and yet we've created this incredible, bizarre world where we think that that's real and it's not. It, there's no way it could be real. Um, but now people are just freaking out because they're, mis it's not, okay? It's, they made a bad joke. They reacted really, really bad when people told them that. Um, and all that means is they're overly sensitive and don't quite understand public relations very well. It doesn't mean they're misogynist. It doesn't mean that they, they did this horrible thing that's going to set women's rights back millions of years. It, it, it's not. They made a bad joke, and they technically took the steps that they thought were appropriate to fix it. They were the wrong steps. And if anything, they should apologize for how they reacted as opposed to posting the joke. Again, this is just my personal opinion. And again, I'm male. I don't understand what it is to be a female and have to look at stuff like that. I really don't, because I'm, I'm not female. Um, I have my own issues with the way that, you know, men are portrayed uh, in the media. I'm never going to look like Hugh Jackman um, or Channing Tatum or uh, Andrew Garfield, to be perfectly honest. Like that, my body type doesn't work that way. I've tried really hard. It will just never happen. So, but I don't get upset when I see depictions of really, really what I would assume are attractive men. Um, in movies and television and things like that because I know that I'm never going to look like that. And that's fine with me. I, it doesn't bother me. It's, it's not something that's possible, so I'm not going to deal with it. Um, so this was really, really long, and I apologize about that. Uh, but it's, it's something that I think needs to be said. We need to stop fixating on trigger words for us because... Nine times out of ten, it has nothing to do with what the other person has said and everything to do with our own insecurities. And by using our own insecurities to attack other people, we're making them insecure as well. And we're just spreading insecurity, which doesn't help anybody. It doesn't improve anything. All it does is make us more self-conscious about ourselves, more terrified of putting ourselves out there, more terrified of being who we actually are. And that's a bad thing, no matter how it is. If you disagree with me and can say it in a logical manner or at least a professional manner, feel free to leave some stuff in the comments below. I have a feeling that some people are going to be really upset by this. Some people aren't going to care either way. Um, but if you have an opinion, please uh, link it below. Kiri, if you're watching this, first of all, thanks for watching the vid. Um, you're an amazing, wonderful, awesome person, and I hope one day to be as cool as you are. Um, and I sincerely doubt that will ever happen. Uh, but feel free to leave your comment here as well. Um, I know that you were really upset about this, and this is not intended to uh, 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 chastise anyone. It's just to kind of bring to the, the forefront that this is, this is becoming an issue. Um, also, if you guys have seen something like this happen outside the geek community, let me know because I can't come up with any instances this has happened other than in relation to geeky things. So I'd, I'd like to know, is this a geek thing where we just become overly sensitive or we fixate on, on, on certain 
aspects of something and, and we ignore the larger picture? Or is this just a general human thing that we just tend to all be stupid about? All right, I'm going to cut this off because this is a really long video. Uh, thanks for anyone that made it through the whole thing. And um, yeah, I will uh, go back to my regularly scheduled stuff that's much, much shorter uh, tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.